Tonight, the state and Niagara County are joining forces to take back the Lake Ontario shoreline. The Department of Public Works has its heavy equipment out to reclaim some of the land that's been lost because of the swollen lake. Crews are using earth moving machines to dig into the lake bed and restore the beach. Well, our team coverage continues now with 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley. He is live in Alcott, where we could see waves up to 7 feet high tonight, Ed. Well, Keith and Ashley, I want to show you something that really exemplifies the problem and what's causing it up here in Alcott Beach. Take a look at that flag and the way it's flapping. That is exactly what people here did not want to see, and that is a strong northerly wind. And that's because when the wind comes out of the north, it tends to push a lot of water from Lake Ontario up onto the shoreline areas. Now, it's being estimated that damage along Niagara County shoreline could total over seven million dollars because of this high water crisis but what the money will not pay for is the drain it is taking on local residents we've had it before we're going to have it again and it's just part of the overall living in fear and depression. Banners along the waterfront in Alcott Beach encourage people to relax, but it is pretty hard to do when a water crisis has left boat docks submerged, yards flooded, property destroyed, and parts of the shoreline washed away. And it doesn't go away. It's like a slow, painful death. There are plenty of scenes of devastation, but what cannot be seen is the emotional toll that is being taken on residents like Chris Err, who lives on Water Street where many properties are now flooded. I used to sit and look out my window and love look my view. I hate the view now. I don't, it's not fun anymore. The water is depressing. It, it's like there's no end in sight. And Mother Nature keeps adding to the stress. Tonight, weather forecasts call for winds and waves up to seven feet high to push even more water ashore. We're, we're really gritty up here, so we're going to keep uh, putting the pedal to the metal here. We've got a great uh, work group. While people here are discouraged, they are not giving up. Businesses are open and summer festivals are still on. We're not closed. Uh, we're fighting hard to, to, uh, to maintain uh, the economics uh, that we have up here. And there has been a determined effort by the Niagara County Highway Department and New York State to extend out the beach using concrete barriers to protect flood prone homes on the west side. I wouldn't say that we're controlling nature, but we're managing the situation as it is. The question now, how well will it hold up in tonight's conditions? We're going to lose some of this. Back out here live in Alcott Beach and take a look. You can see the waves here on Lake Ontario are getting bigger and bigger. You know, this morning when I was out here doing some Facebook Live, that lake was fairly still. Not the case right now. Local fire departments have been placed on standby for tonight, and the supervisor from the town of Newfane tells me if evacuations are needed, people will be taken to the Alcott Fire Department. Live along the shores of Lake Ontario, Ed Riley 7, Eyewitness News. And thank you. Next.